In the previous hat related video, we looked over what are some of the rarest hats on Roblox, but this time, let's change it up. What are some of the most unique items on Roblox? In this video, I've devised two categories, with each having a large selection of choice for their respective categories. The first category is transparent hats, which just means that in the settings of the hat, there is an opacity setting which can be changed from 0 to 1, but the only problem is that Roblox can only change it, and they rarely do, with only a few select choices being able to be see through at various levels of transparency. Some of the first transparent hats released are the Ice Crown series, with the original blue one released on the 7th of January 2008. The way you got this is by winning the Winter Playland Building Contest, making sure you put the name WPBC in the front of it or else you wouldn't be entered into the contest. Even for simply entering the contest with a place, you got rewarded a cool hat, which was the helm of the Frozen North, arguably the coolest elemental helm. And as for the ice crown, you had to have your place get nominated and then a staff would come and judge it and if it was a really good place, then you would have won that hat plus 200 robux as an added bonus. Later down the line, three more colours got added to make it a series. They were green, purple and red, with each obtained through a gift box called Frozen GIF of Master Developer on the 4th of December 2014, with each one could have been bought for 25k a piece, that would have cost you like 75k to get all three boxes, or being the top 100 developers on Roblox in 2014 and get one of these boxes rewarded to you. A few months later, the first Roblox egg hunt would happen, which would spawn eggs in any game with a selection of eggs to choose from. One of which was the invisible egg of Shadow, which just so happened to be transparent. I think all the eggs from this egg hunt were really cool, and this one especially, seeing as it was the first of three to come out that were from egg hunts and also transparent. The next transparent item to release was the Ice Skull of Nevermore on the 24th of December 2008 via a gift box released around that time from Roblox to celebrate Christmas. How players got this item was by having the Inviter Badge, which could have been obtained by emailing people a referral link to Roblox or when they were making their account, adding your account name as a referral for making theirs. For being a free item, this is insanely good and it was fairly easy to obtain and as an added bonus, it went limited sometime around February 2010. There is another variant of this item called the Fire Skull of Evermore. Crave, I know. It features the same transparency as the blue variant, but this one is more annoying to obtain. See, this is a Roblox toy item, but, but this item also happens to be a chaser code. When you buy a Roblox toy, you get a code that is designated to that item, but you have a rare chance to get a chaser item, which can be a select few items from a pool for each series. Then the next transparent hat is actually quite weird. It's called the Mosquito Balloon Hat, released on the 5th of September 2009 and only costing 25 Robux. What makes this item weird is that it's barely transparent at 0.01 which a non-transparent item sits at zero. But on the same day, Flower Balloon Hat released, but this item was not transparent at all, which leads me to believe the mosquito being slightly transparent may have been accidental, as it would make sense to have both of the items transparent to a point like it's see-through, unlike what the mosquito has. Or they could have been like this other balloon related item called the Balloon Giraffe, releasing on the 21st of January 2011. You can still find it on sale at a fluctuating price, which before it costed 50 Robux and was a Builders Club exclusive item that then later changed. This item's transparency is at a 0.2, which you can see the difference between the mosquito and how much of a difference this makes, although the hat is quite small and I have no idea how you would wear this, but it is cool nonetheless. There is also a recolor of this item called the Neon Balloon Giraffe that is a gift card exclusive from Sainsbury's from June to July 2024. Although this shares the same model and altered texture, the item's type has been messed up somehow. The original is based as a hat, which makes sense as it sits on top of the head, and this one somehow got put under as shoulder, which again, guessing this was a misclick when uploading the item, 
and it's not really that broke, so there's no reason to fix it. The next year, Roblox's annual egg hunt for 2012 would roll around, and have a transparent egg called Ethereal Ghost Egg, which was easy to get, as you had to get lucky and hope it drops in the dedicated Roblox game made for the egg hunt, but it was quite annoying to get as it flies around in the air like a poltergeist and has a random path that it changes through. If you was able to catch this, you got a really cool egg and one of my favourites from the egg hunt. If you want to get this item, you can still get it as it went limited and sits around 400 robux at the moment. The year after that, we were blessed with another transparent item called Transparent Headphones, released on the 15th of November 2013. This item was a limited U, meaning they were a fixed stock amount of 150 copies, but at a price of 10,000 Robux. Not going to lie, other than the transparency going on, this item is, I don't know, quite bad, and I think the 10,000 Robux was way too much for it, but I'm not Roblox, and that's just my opinion, as someone else could think this is the best item since the invention of electricity. To end the year, we got a small item called Ice Cold Bowtie. That was a CVS gift card exclusive item from December 2013 to January 2014. Then later, Curry's got it for January 2021 to February 2021. Other than that, there isn't much to say about this item other than it's pretty small and unnoticeable. Later on in 2014, Roblox's Halloween event would roll around called Hallow's Eve, which would feature a cool ghost fedora, which uses a familiar fedora mesh, we all know. How you got this item was killing every ghost type in-game during a ghost wave to be able to obtain this item. As a free hat, this was an awesome prize, judging how much the series goes for over thousands of Robux, it's a cool one if you manage to get it. The year after that, we got another transparent item, this time in the form of a bowler hat that was released on the 20th of November 2015 for a price of 300 Robux. I do think this is a cool item for sure, but at the same time, how would you even wear this item as it's very transparent and you would probably need to theme yourself around that item or else it's just not going to fit in with any outfits at all. Alright, you get the point by now, let's just speedrun the rest of these, as most of this stuff is something not as interesting or wasn't involved in any contest or event from Roblox. Starting with Ghost Cat and Ghost Puppy, both similar items with each taking up a different shoulder of a deceased animal. How you got both these items is via a gift card from a retailer with the Ghost Cat obtainable from Toys R Us between October to November 2015 and Ghost Puppy from EB Games from October to November 2016. Then the next transparent item were the Ghost Wings which were obtained from a gift box called Ghostly Gift of Flight for 800 Robux from the 9th of October to the 10th. For the price, I'd say these were some pretty cool wings to get if you managed to obtain them. On the 14th of February 2016, the Fire Crown will be released for 25k with a timer of 12 hours. When it was finished, only 81 people had purchased this item. It doesn't help the item looks smaller than the Ice Crown. The people who have bought this item are in luck as on the 3rd of August 2022, it went limited, meaning they were able to trade the item. In the same year, Ghostly Pursuit was made on the 22nd of October 2016 costing 100 Robux, then on the 8th of December, it was taken off sale. I don't have an actual reason for this, not even the Roblox wiki has a reason for this, so I'm guessing it was just randomly taken off for the sake of it. On the 30th of September 2017, there was Ghostly Monster Friend, which was a pretty cool shoulder accessory for 600 Robux that can still be bought to this day, and the same can be applied for Ice Wings, which released on the 1st of December 2017 for 1000 Robux, which I honestly think these are not worth the price at all. On the 11th of February 2019, Ghost Cat Scarf was uploaded as a toy code item, which came with a toy from the Roblox Series 6 called Beach Simulator Xenotron. Other than that, it's a transparent version of Ivory Cat Scarf with the same mesh and texture. Lastly, there is Brain Freeze Egg on the 12th of March 2020 in preparation for that year's egg hunt. How you got this egg was by playing Break In's event, which you would have been rewarded this item. And as an added bonus, it went limited on the 16th of August 2022. 
This next category, I've organised it into two different sections, which will make sense as to why. The first one is Old School Particles, which uses the standard particles effects built into the Roblox Studio, with the first one being Fire. The first Fire item to release was the Dooseker, which came out of the Silver Gift of Surprise on the 16th of December 2010, which cost 10,000 Robux. With the Roblox admins at the time getting this item for free due to getting a 20,000 Robux gift for free which included an item plus this gift box as well. The item itself is one of my favourites as it's a reference to Matt Dusek and in part the main feature of the hat only works for him as there is a script in the hat to only activate the fire if the ID matches Matt Dusek's account and if not it's just a regular pumpkin hat with antlers and for the flames, it does show up on your avatar on the website, but that's about it. Later in 2013, another version of this item was made in purple with green fire effects called the Doom Secker, with it costing 31,000 Robux from the big beautiful gift of destiny on the 13th of October 2013. This version is my personal favourite in the set, as I think it looks cool and the effect works for everyone and it is not tied to a single Roblox admin, which is a major win in my books, with the same with the last heart in the series. Ghost Theory, coloured in white and with cyan of fire effects, also costing 31,000 Robux from the big gift of the Pumpkin Hunter gift box on the 13th of October 2014. I think all three Sekars are really cool, and this one is no exception, but unlike the other two, this one is actually tradable, but do keep in mind, this item is quite expensive, with it being over 800,000 Robux, so be prepared to pay top dollar for this one, but I do think the price is worth it for the item in question. The next fire release was the Flaming Mohawk. On the 11th of December 2014 for 500 Robux. It's a fairly cool item but the fire effect is what makes it even better. But the downside is, how do you even wear this thing as it is quite big and you have to base an entire outfit around it for it to even work. Which I have seen some custom hats to add onto it to make it like a helmet which in that part it does look really cool with that sort of style. Then another series started to form, with Fiery Horns of the Neverworld being the first to release on the 13th of February 2015 for Labor Day, costing 3,000 Robux, going off sale around the 17th of February 2015. As for items go, I think the horns are okay, but again suffer from the way too big and how would you style a fit around this, as I opened this item at one point, and I used the flame particles to create some sort of a Team Fortress 2 unusual effect, but that was about it, as I've seen other people throw it on anything and call it a day, so it is up to the owner's discretion. If red is not your style, then there's Frozen Horns of the Frigid Plains, releasing on the 19th of February 2017 to the 24th, costing 5,000 Robux. But what is a little bit weird about this item is that it was created on the catalogue on the 15th of March 2012, but then later releasing in 2017, meaning this series was probably scrapped for some time and then just released at a later date. Other than that, it is pretty much the same as the last one, but with blue tints on the horns and also a matching flame particle effect. Again, I personally think I would find the red one easy to work with, but then it all depends on the person in question and how would they use it. Lastly, there is Poison Horns of the Toxic Wasteland, releasing between the 25th of May 2018 to the 28th for 10,000 Robux. Unlike the last two, this one is actually quite different and I think it is pretty cool, but still personally unwearable. It features purple horns with a green fire particle effect, Similar styling to the Doomsecker in that regards of the colour combo. Overall, all three horns are pretty cool in their own regard, and fairly easy to get as all three of them are limited items, which is great, but at the cost of your wallet, as they were reasonably priced many years ago, but now they gained popularity with the online daters, and they're willing to pay a pretty penny for one of these, which has ramped up the price drastically. Although this item is not a part of the trio, 
It is fairly similar, so I'll include it in the same section. By him is the Blue Steel Horns of Ponage, released on the 3rd of April 2015, out of the Blue Steel Basket of Spiky Ponage, but cost 25,000 Robux, which back then only 82 people decided to buy this and then got rewarded this item. Unlike the other three, this one is more compact and different in shape with the spikes facing inward, but it offers a nice yellow fire effect that is really cool, but doesn't go as far as the other three, making it less prominent. In 2015, we got two more fire based items, with the first being Carblox Grand Marshal, coming out of the Carblox basket of the Frozen Dark, which was available from the 20th of March 2015 to an unknown date for 10,000 Robux. Firstly, the item itself is very cool, as it's a mixture of two Carblox styles into one, and secondly, this item is huge due to also including ice shoulder pads, as well as on top it has a nice small cyan fire effect. To finish up, there is Hiccup's Improved Helmet, releasing on the 26th of June 2015 to 6th of July 2015, for one ticket. Yep, you heard me right, one whole ticket, which 10 tickets was the equivalent to one Robux at that time. This item was made for a sponsored event, Dragons Race to the Edge, with it being based around the main character's hat in that movie. What's weird about this is, for a time, this was the only sponsored item that received any sort of fire particle effects, and for the price, well it was a no brainer. As for the particle effect itself, it is quite small and compact. That doesn't exceed over the horns, but I find that quite cool, making it a standalone hat that you can just wear by itself, as it does everything and looks quite cool for the price you're paying for it. The next particle effect is smoke, as you can't have fire with a bit of smoke. With only one item using this, which is the Cursed Flames, released on the 29th of August 2019 as a regular on sale item, which can be bought for 55 Robux. Now, this isn't the only item that has smoke, as the Doomsecker series has smoke particles in the item that was disabled, and other hats produce smoke effects, but this one is the only hat that uses the old particle smoke system that is turned on. As for the item itself, it is simple and easy to work into outfits, and the smoke on it emits like a nice purple effect making it a no-brainer purchase if you can get it below 100 robux as a new price floor system can be messed up at times. There is also Golden Cursed Flames, which is a gold variant of this item, with matching smoke emitted, and how you got this item was from again another chaser item from purchasing robux toys and getting lucky. If you manage to get this item, consider yourself lucky as it is one of the best chaser items you can obtain in my opinion. Now for one of the first Sparkle Effect hats, we have the original Boss White, released on the 6th of August 2012, with the later colours released on the 21st of August 2014. This series of hats was talked about in the last video in depth, so I'll keep it simple in the video as all the hat features the same white fedora and uses a pinstripe fedora mesh with the body painted in white and the band changing colours to match with this set of sparkles it has with the original Dawn in black. Too bad this entire series is restricted to people who reported serious flaws in Roblox's system that could cause it some harm or take down the website. Then after that series we've got another exclusive item in the form of an award called Game Trailer Video Contest Winner releasing on the 15th of September 2012 with 5 winners. Serenok in 1st, Gusmanak in 2nd, Ravenshield in 3rd, Bobby Stays High in 4th, and in 5th, Simon 68 The item itself is so cool, and I love these trophy style hats, and the white sparkles it emits gives it some sort of class and it stands out from the other awards Roblox has done over the years. With these later changing to gears, and then to back accessories, that look dull and out of place. A small fact about this item is that it has an audio clip inside of it of clapping that doesn't actually turn on because it's turned off by default, and there is no script inside to even activate it in the first place. 
Next we have another series that formed on the 30th of August 2013 with a star being Fall Fairy for 300 Robux that later went off sale. It's a small shoulder item of a fairy dressed in fall attire with a nice brown particle effect emitted. Then the Winter Fairy released on the 10th of January 2014 which is a reskin but this time in blue for 300 Robux but then later went off sale and then turned into a limited. Again it's placed on the same shoulder and emits a cool blue sparkle effect that ties in the item with its theme. And finally Spring Fairy which released on the 21st of March 2014 for 300 Robux and can still be bought today. As items go I do think this is a pick up as it's fairly cheap and small with a nice pink sparkle effect coming from it. All three of these share the same mesh with all the textures to match with the season, but there is one more. St. Patrick's Day Fairy, released on the 13th of March 2015 for 300 Robux. This one had a completely changed up mesh and texture, and I think out of all four, I would say this one is my personal favourite, with how it looks and a nice green sparkles emitted from it, and it occupies the left shoulder, instead of the right unlike the other three. Now if you want to get this item, be prepared to pay a large sum of robux, as this item is not cheap as it went limited a year after its release and it can be purchased for 100,000 robux at this point. On April Fool's Day 2014, the admins thought it would be funny prank to release the egg hunt again, but once you play this you had a badge for the egg of destiny. The item itself is goofy, with it emitting a purple sparkle effect from it, but one feature this item had that made it stand out was that it had a light effect in it, meaning it was like a flashlight with another item doing the same thing, but at some point they removed it from this item, due to it probably having a large amount of owners and multiple people wearing it in one game, it could create some sort of a flashbang for someone, but it was really cool for that short lived time. On the 22nd of November 2014, we got Snow Queen's necklace, costing 5,000 Robux, and it is still on sale to this day. Out of all the sparkling items, I think this is one of the more easier ones to combo with, and it emits a calm pastel blue sparkle, but the downside is that it is 5,000 Robux, which is a lot, and at the moment no chance of getting any return for it, as it'll probably stay on sale, so get it if you have an ample supply of robux and not only got 5000 robux and that's it. But on the 16th of December 2014 we have sparkling angel wings costing 1000 robux and can still be bought on the market to this day. Just looking at the item itself I think it's quite good, though the wings are, are not something I particularly like. For the price I think it's quite decent and the light blue sparkles on top make the pill easier to swallow. Two years later, this item got a recolor called Golden Sparkling Wings on the 21st of May 2016 for 2000 Robux with a timer of 12 hours. Then it returned again two years later for Labor Day with a 3 hour timer for the same price as before. As for the item itself, I would personally say I prefer the original more, as I find it hard to work with stuff. As I find it hard to work with hats other than golden items putting on more golden items to match with it, but I think it is quite nice with the golden particles it has that works really well with the golden crown of warlords. Now onto the new particle system, which essentially means they run on a dedicated particle emitter in Roblox Studio that allows you to customise everything about it rather than having the old methods of having three separate particles fire, smoke and sparkles when this can make all of those given enough time to master it. One of the first and most interesting hats on the platform is Arbadam's Smokestack Top Hat released on the 30th of August 2014 as a limited U with 101 stock but at an unknown price as the archive data doesn't specify how much this hat was priced at and if I had to assume, it would have been somewhere between 5,000 to 10,000 Robux, just from looking at the earliest picture of the RIP and the sales after to have a rough guess of what this could have been priced at. The item is really cool. It doesn't help, I also have some bias towards top hats as I think they're all really cool, and this one is up there as it looks classy 
but with the added bonus of having smoke emitted in the middle of the hat, like it suggests, a smokestack. The most interesting part about this hat isn't even the smoke, as this item is the most dynamic hat you can buy on the catalogue currently, as it has 8 different variants. With the normal one you see, then Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Roblox's birthday, April Fools, Halloween, Thanksgiving and Christmas, with the Christmas and Thanksgiving only changing the particles. The others also have a texture change, and in the case of April Fools, a complete different change to the hat, with it being full of smoke and shooting out particles of the hat. And to add extra detail, there is a rare chance to have all the effects go off in game for a few seconds. To get people excited, not like what is provided already isn't exciting enough. On the 13th of October 2015, we got Sparkle Time Classic Pumpkin, which came out of a classic gift of timeless taste that could have been bought for 31,000 Robux, with it going off sale shortly after. In terms of the looks, I don't quite like this item as much as the others in the series, but it does offer a nice ghost effect that slightly locks into one direction, and the best feature is that it's now the only hat on Roblox that has a light fixed into it that makes it glow and a force to be reckoned with if in a game your plane is based in the dark as this just lights up everything around it. In 2018, we got two more on sale items with the new particle system, with the first being Singed Scientist Hair on the 6th of September for 100 Robux that can still be bought today. Honestly, there isn't much to note about this item, other than it has a nice particle effect and looks quite weird, so it would only work in a scientist fit, really. Then there's Ghost Back Lantern on the 7th of October for 700 Robux that can still be bought today. Unlike the previous item, this one is a back accessory that uses similar ghosts to Sparkle Time Classic Pumpkin, but done differently. I think this item is quite cool, and one that if you had the Robux to pick up, I'd say go for it. Then in 2022, we got a unique item called Mr. Bling Bling Hat, that was obtained by buying a physical copy of the Roblox X Hasbro Monopoly collab, which included a code to obtain this item. The item itself is a clash of Roblox items, with the hat base looking like golden top hat of Bling Bling, the Mr. Bling Bling's signature suit is golden suit of Bling Squared with him popping out the hat. Then to top it off, it has an awesome effect of Robux exploding out of him, which I think looks so cool and almost makes it worth buying a physical copy of Monopoly for this hat. After this point, Roblox went ballistic with these effects, with most being gift card items featuring some sort of particle on it, and most of the Amazon exclusive ones had the same fate. So for the sake of this video, I've picked out some different ones that I think were wearable and pretty cool, as the other ones are either mid or straight up terrible. The first being 8-bit Royal Crown, which I find to be quite nice and the effect it produces makes it a great item. If you got it for 300 Robux, you gotta steal as it is so much more than it was before as it's now a limited item. Next is Dwali Food Hat, which was a free hat that Roblox gave out for a limited time. Honestly, what makes this item so good is due to again the effect, but also the size of this hat, as it looks like they messed up as it is so small compared to the other three items. This next item is one of my personal favourites, with it being called Hovering UFO, that was a free item from Amazon Gaming, as it's the item you got for just being a member of Amazon Prime, and it was really good in my opinion, with how well it ties into spaced theme items. Then Father Time New Pat, this one is not too bad as it was a gift card item from Asda or Walmart, which is reminiscent of the Noob Activity series with a nice clock time effect to tie it in. Now this item at one point was the most hyped item you could have got, which was the Oof Chain, which was obtained by buying a gift card from Amazon and this was your price for doing so. The chain itself is pretty nice, and I do like the sparkles it has, though I wish it was not glued to your avatar. Another good one was Crown of Winter's Frost, which was a gift card item from Asda or Walmart. Although it is on the big side, I do really like the effect this item emits, although it's kind of a struggle to fit this into an outfit and make it work due to how large it is. 
If you manage to play the classic and complete it, you were rewarded the Cleos Erebus, which I think was a great item and honestly made it worth the grind to obtain this item, as well as a few others from that event. So far, it is the best out of the three Roblox has done in the modern years. Lastly, there is Minion Backpack Collection, which honestly sucks, but remember when I said Hiccups was the first sponsored item to have particle effects? Well, as far as I'm aware, this is the second, and it is a series that was an Amazon gift card exclusive, with one of them costing $300. Finally, to wrap up the video, there are items that produce sound effects, with four in total, with two coming out on the same day, that being Telemon's Chicken Suit coming out of Telemon's Mystery Box, and Bright Eyes Bloxy Cola at Bright Eyes Treasure Chest for 500 Robux on the 19th of March 2010. As for the first one, you could have obtained it from two events. Prank a Popstar and Roblox Pawnsville video contest, which were all based around the growing platform YouTube. And the best ones that the admins like won some Robux and this gift box as a prize. As both items go, I think they look quite nice, but the real touch is in the sounds, which both do get annoying quite fast, which is a good thing if that's what you want in life. Other than that, both these items are able to be traded, which is great for the gift box owners, as all the items from these gift boxes are tradable and worth quite a lot of robux in the current market. I don't think these two are bad, but the other two are extremely annoying if someone's wearing them in game. With the next one being the Transient Harmonica, releasing on the 16th of August 2010 for 300 robux, with a limited stock of 200,000, then 90 minutes later it became limited. Only 1,115 got sold in that time frame and the rest of the stock got removed and left as is. Out of all the noise items, this is the one I hate the most. As for starters, it's limited, which makes it easy to obtain than the last one, but it also seems to go off very often with its loud harmonica solos. Other than the noise feature on this item, it wouldn't have even done so well, as currently it sits over 100k wrap, most likely just for that noise part alone, as the item is quite small and really unnoticeable. Then in 2015, the final noise item would release, Bright Eyes Witch's Brew Heart, which came out of the joyless gift of the saddest eyes, that costed 700 Robux on the 7th of October to the 9th. As for the hat itself, it is a reskin of Bright Eyes Bloxy Cola, but changed around the Witch's Brew drink, also using said drink noise effects, and I am so thankful this is off sale, as this one is the most annoying and goes off often, it is unreal. Hearing these noises often would drive someone insane, so I am glad it was never put as a limited, even though it would have made sense as to why it should have as the original one was made limited, so this should have got the same treatment as well. It's cool to see so many items that got special treatment from Roblox over the years that being slightly opaque so you can see through it, or maybe having particle effects, which seems to be the craze over at Roblox at the moment, with it being on 9 out of 10 gift card items, but it still adds a bit more uniqueness onto the item, which is what I enjoy the most out of everything. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you've got any other video ideas or interesting facts around these hats. Feel free to check out my Discord server as I'm trying to build a community over there. Feel free to check out my join page if you wish to support the content I make. And with that being said, I'll see you some other time.